Hi guys and welcome to another Flash Action Script 3 tutorial by Passy's World of ICT. As you've probably guessed, this one is a jigsaw puzzle where we can push pieces with the mouse button and move them around into position. Alright, so let's start uh, fitting this puzzle together here. Uh, what we've got is a series of pieces that we cut out from a picture in Flash and these pieces have all been made into movie clips and given names, alright? The names are then um, related to in the Flash action script code so that it knows uh, when we can lift it up with the mouse and move it around. Alright, so uh, we're not perfect here. This is a little bit fiddly all right to get the pieces in oh whoa. and eventually we'll get there and we'll have a picture of the fabulous lunar park right here in melbourne australia uh, which is a great fun place to go and visit and go on one of the really oldest roller coasters i think in australia maybe even the world all right um it's not exactly perfect but all right, we could slide those a little bit better and make it a little bit more even, but that's basically our puzzle done. So let's have a look at how this works in Flash. All right, in Flash, we bought in a picture over here in the library. Uh, you need to make a picture 500 to 550 wide. And then we've broken that picture apart and cut it up into pieces. Here are all the pieces here in the library and they're all movie clips. So when you click on each one, this one for example here down in the properties is piece three underscore MC. All right, important to use that underscore and not leave spaces in the names. And that instance name, which is down there, is what relates into the action script code. So we've got the action script code up here in the layers. The main stage are all our puzzle pieces, the action script three code. We can access that by going window and then onto actions or just pressing the F9 key directly. And that'll show you the action script code. All right, we set up this thing called an array in there. All right, now what an array is, is it's just a uh, container. So think of it as like a chest of drawers, all right, in your room. And we've got an eight drawers here, eight different items in that container. And down here we have a for loop, which is something which looks horrible and complicated. But what it does here is it says I is something which it's, um, working its way through and it's working its way through those drawers so it opens up drawer one and on for that piece number one of your puzzle it sets some event listeners or things which check to see what's going on so it does a mouse down event listener to check whether the person has actually clicked the mouse down on that piece at the moment and a mouse up event listener to see if the mouse button is clicked up and they're ready to drop that piece into position and what it'll do is for the length of that array like it'll work out okay we're dealing with an eight um, item container here or eight chests of drawers it'll open up each one and add the event listener on so each piece has event listeners to know whether it's being clicked by the user or not down here we have functions all right the function if the event listener finds out okay that piece is being clicked but it'll commence the flash action of start drag which means they'll be able to move that round with the mouse likewise there's a second function here to drop the piece into position that if the piece has been moved but the mouse button suddenly clicks up the event listener will pick that up and it'll do this function to now drop the piece into position all right so that's a rundown of the action script code all right let's get to work in flash and build this project from beginning to end all right, the first thing we need to do is do create new flash file action script 3.0 and click on that. Now, let's bring our picture in. We go file and import and import to library. We'll bring it into the library. All right, so we'll just wait a minute while that opens up. And then we can go to our picture, which we have saved here. We might as well just do thumbnails and we want the Luna 540 by 405. You need to make your pictures about 500 to 550 wide and then make your work area 800 by 600 all right let's just have a look in the library if we click on Luna we can see our pictures there let's go down the bottom here to size and let's change our size to 800 by 600 all right why are we doing that because we need space 
around the edge of our picture uh, so that we can move the pieces around. All right, in the workspace, we might have to now lower that magnification down to 50% so we can see the whole work area. And down the bottom here on background, we're just going to um, give it kind of a bit of a light yellow color. All right. Now, let's bring the picture in. We go over to the library and click on it, hold the mouse button down, and drag it out. All right, now you can either do modify up the top or we can right click and go break apart. Our picture now has all these little white dots on it and that means it is now ready to cut up. All right, so we need to click off the picture and if we go to the fourth tool down, the lasso, that's what we're gonna to use to cut pieces out with and down the bottom in the options, go to that last one, polygon mode, click on that and make sure it's got a light blue um, square around it. Now this is a move and click. So you click, move it along, click, move it along and click, move it back up again and double click when you're finished. Now that piece is in white dots, you can now push your mouse down and move that and just move it right off the stage for the moment so we've got plenty of room. All right, we now go to our next piece which we're gonna cut out and move and click and move and click and move and click and move and double click at the end there, um, which will enable us to now grab that piece and move that out the way. All right, now we're gonna keep doing this. It's important when you move your pieces round, don't let them overlap on each other because sometimes that'll cut pieces out of them. I'll try and show that to you here. If I go, if I take this piece over here and put it on that piece, all right, it's not gonna do it, but sometimes it does this cutting motion and sort of takes pieces out. Remember, if you mess anything up, Control and Z to go back is um, your next step. All right, I'm just gonna pause the video now and finish cutting out all those pieces and drag them out to the edge, and then we'll come back. Now, even on your last piece here, you still need to um, cut that out. So we'll just do that and double click and move that. Sometimes when you're double clicking, um, things will happen like your whole picture disappears. Just use Control Z to come back. Now, we've got some bits left over here. I didn't cut really neat. So I go to this tool called the Eraser tool. It's about halfway down the tools list here and click on that. And what I do is I just, we just rub those things out. Push the mouse button down to erase, like pushing down on a real pencil eraser, and just erase out all those little bits. All right, now back onto the black arrow tool, and we're just gonna kind of um, move these pieces all over the place. Um, so I'll just pause while I do that. All right then, so that's all of our pieces cut out. Now go on to the black arrow tool here, and we'll just click on our first piece. What we need to do is either press F8 or go modify, convert to symbol. We're gonna name this first piece, piece one, P-I-E-C-E one, and it's movie clip is the type here, and you press OK. Then straight away down in the properties, underneath there, it needs an instance name. And we're gonna call this piece one underscore MC. And not with that curly bracket, we'll just take that out. And that's important because that piece, that piece one underscore MC, don't leave spaces there, all right? Use underscore, just don't have any space. That's the exact name we're gonna use in the action script code. So this name here links it into the coding later on. All right, let's go to our next piece here. We will press F8 key and convert to symbol. That is going to be piece number two, piece two. It's a movie clip. We say OK. And down in here underneath where we've got that guy, we're going to call it piece two underscore MC. All right. And the lowercase little MC letters, everything's important there because it's going to have to match the action script exactly, all right? So modify, convert to symbol. This is gonna be piece three. Um, it's gonna be a movie clip as well. And down here, we're gonna give it its instance name, piece three underscore MC. All right, I'll continue doing all the rest of the pieces and then we'll come back and do the next part. All right, so I finished that, and notice over here on the right-hand side, we've got all of our pieces here as movie clips, and you can click on them and see each one. All right then, now we need to get to work on the action script. If we go to layers here, this one's called layer one at the moment, just uh, like double-click that 
and change that. That's really our main stage area, so let's just call that main stage. Where all our pieces are, main stage, okay, main stage. Now we need to make a new layer for the action script. How we do that is down here, there's some little symbols, insert layer, add a motion guide, insert a folder in the trash can to delete a layer. We want to use this left hand one, insert layer, click on that and it'll make the new layer, double click on the new layer and this is going to be where our AS um, 3.0 code is. All right, some people call it actions. I'm just going to uh, call it there AS 3.0 for Action Script 3.0. All right, now that we're on that layer highlighted in blue, to get into the Action Script editor, we go Window and Actions, or just press the F9 key, and that takes us into the editor. Now we have all of our code already written here, so we've discussed it a bit already about the array. Let's just put in this first bit um, where we define the array. All right, so we'll just control C, copy that, and control V, enter it here. Notice that with the slash slash, they are comments. They don't actually do anything. That's just describing stuff to explain what this guy's doing. Notice that comes out in light gray, and here we've got some blue and black coding, um, color coded there to show us where we've got all of those instance names of the pieces referred to in an array or a container type thing, like a chest of drawers in your bedroom that we talked about. All right, so now we'll just get the rest of the code and put that in. All right, so let's just uh, control V, paste that in. All right, the for loop, as we talked about, it's like opening up all of your drawers one by one for all of your puzzle pieces and adding mouse down and mouse up events, these kind of checkers that sit there to check and see whether a piece is being clicked at the moment. Then the functions that they do, like for mouse down here, and as it's got drag on the end, that's the name of the function, and the function drag does the start drag action in flash, which means that the mouse is engaged and it can move pieces. Now, let's say you had a seven piece puzzle. What you would do up here is you would just get rid of that piece eight and edit it back and take away that comma, all right? If you had nine pieces, you would have to put a comma here and add piece nine and so on. It's just that you don't have a comma or a full stop or anything um, at the end of that piece. So that's pretty much the action script. So um, that's in there and it's time to now press control and enter and see if this guy works. Okay, let's check that all the pieces are movable. It looks like every piece can be moved, so I guess the real test is to actually uh, just try and quickly do the puzzle. All right, and see if we can. Um, that taxi's parked down here somewhere. There's some people. Into the middle there are people. Taxi there. Um, there's the rest of the big Luna Park guy's head. In he goes. And get that roller coaster snapped in. All right, look, it's not great. It looks like I haven't cut some of the pieces really well here. Um, all right, but near enough. If you're really careful, uh, you can get a, a reasonable puzzle. All right, so that's it. That's all working, and that's all done. So that's a basic Flash Action Script 3 project. It'll be up on our blog post website, Passy's World of ICT, with some detailed instructions, so we'll put the link to that in the description for the YouTube video. Alright, so get a picture of your own, cut it up, make a puzzle, have some fun, learn some action script, and learn how to use an array, a container, and a for loop to step through opening up all the boxes in that container and doing some stuff to them. Alright, thank you for watching, and remember, Passy's World of ICT has many tutorials on Adobe products and other fun things to do with music and computers.